Algebra 1, looking at order of operations, and we're going to go through a couple more samples of order of operations for practice. So we remind ourselves that the order of operations rules include P-E-M-D-A-S, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally as your mnemonic, and P is for parentheses, which represents grouping symbols like parentheses and brackets, exponents next, then we do multiplication and division moving left to right, followed by all of the addition and subtraction, again moving left to right. So let's start with this basic expression here. So we have here 7 times the quantity of the quantity 18 minus 6 minus 6. So for this situation, we're going to begin with the innermost grouping symbol first. So we're going to do the parentheses, the 18 minus 6 in parentheses first. And that gives us a value of 12. So now we have 7 times the quantity 12 minus 6. Now we're going to do the grouping symbol, the brackets, and we're going to take the 12 minus 6, which gives us 7 times 6. And of course, 7 times 6 multiplication gives us a value of 42. So again, we did the innermost grouping symbols first, the 18 minus 6, which gave us 12. Then we do the next grouping symbol, 12 minus 6, giving us 6. And now we have 7 times 6, giving us 42. So here we have an expression using an exponent and grouping symbols. And we have the quantity 7 minus 4 squared plus 3 in brackets plus 15. So in this situation, again, remembering that the order of operations gives us grouping symbols first, we're going to start with the innermost grouping symbols, the parentheses, and go 7 minus 4, which gives us a value of 3. And now we have 3 squared plus 3 in brackets plus 15. So next we're going to do exponents, the e, exponents next. So 3 squared plus 3 plus 15 gives us a value of 9. The 3 squared is 9 plus 3. And now we're going to do that again, that grouping symbol first, 9 plus 3. And that 9 plus 3, of course, gives us 12 which we finally add to the 15, and this gives us a value of 27. So again, in this sample, because we have grouping symbols inside of grouping symbols, we start with the innermost grouping symbols, the 7 minus 4 first. Since we're working inside the grouping symbol of the brackets, we have to do the exponent part of that next, the 3 squared, which gave us 9. Now we do the grouping symbols doing the 9 plus 3, and that addition gives us 12, and then finally we add the 15, giving us 27. So let's look at one more example, and here we have 10 plus the quantity 5 squared times 2 in parentheses. Then we close the brackets on that, and we're going to divide by 6. So in this situation, we're going to start inside the grouping symbol of the parentheses and do the exponent aspect of that first. So we're going to do the 5 squared. This gives us a value, of course, of 25. Now we have the 25 times 2 in parentheses, so that's an inner grouping symbol. And that inner grouping symbol has to be done next, giving us 25 times 2. So this gives us a value of 10 plus 50 in brackets divided by 6. So we're going to do the grouping symbol of the bracket next, the plus 10, 10 plus 50, and that gives us a value, of course, of 60. And 60 divided by 6, the final solution gives us an answer of 6. So we started here with the innermost grouping symbol of 5 squared plus times 2, and we have to do the exponent part of that first, giving us 25. 25 times 2, of course, inside that grouping symbol gives us 50. Then inside that grouping symbol, we have 10 plus 50, giving us 60. And then we finalize this with 60 divided by 6, giving us 6. 
So this was uh, three more examples of order of operations for Algebra 1.